The Case of the Missing Chalk Drawings by Richard Byrne. The Chalks were having fun drawing when Mrs. Red called them in for lunch. They were drawing all kind of flowers. But when the chalks came back for lunch, they were surprised to find all the flowers are gone. The chalks started a new drawing, but this time Mrs. Red also made a big red fence. That should keep the flowers safe while we go in for a story, she said. But it didn't. After story time, the flowers were gone, and so was the fence. Someone is stealing our drawings, said the chalk. Sergeant Blue arrived to investigate and quickly noted some important evidence. The culprit is this tall and very dusty. Sergeant Blue rounded up some suspicious looking characters. Mm, too thin, too small, too pointy, too tall, too hairy. Hmm, he said when he got to the last suspect. Please turn around. And as the chalks watched, they noticed He's got a dusty red bottom. Case closed, but before Sergeant Blue could put the culprit in prison, the robber fled in a cloud of dust. The chalks chased the robber, but they could not catch him. The chalks were stumped. Fortunately, Sergeant Blue had a plan. When the robber came upon a new drone, he couldn't resist. Rainbow, here I come, here I come. Rainbow, here I come. The chalks suddenly leaped out from their hiding places. Robber, got you! See them hopping out? The chalkboard eraser felt wrongly accused. I am not a robber, I'm an eraser. You draw stuff and I erase it, then you can draw more stuff. The chalks felt very guilty. They had made a terrible mistake. Sergeant Blue knew how to make things right. They should all chase the eraser again. But this time, just for fun. And there they are. After their race, a first place cup they drew for themselves. And that's the story of the missing chalk drawings by Richard Byrne.